What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add Google codes, okay? Google adds codes into our WordPress website into middle of our page like this one on Visual Moto blog or into sidebars or footer according to the place that you want like this one for example on the Visual Moto sidebar, okay? So basically, you have already made your Google AdSense. Okay, so go to Google AdSense website, sign up. Okay, click on Get Started. Submit your site to see if you have your site approved or not. It may day, it may take a couple of days. Whoever, you may be approved if your site have some relevant and good or unique content. Okay, and as soon as you do that, you're gonna have a page like this one. So you can apply the AdSense code snippets onto your site. In the case that you want to learn how to verify a site on Google AdSense or how to get your site approved, let me know into the comments below because I'm gonna be happy to teach you. And before anything, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? So now, now let's get the Google codes, okay? So into the Google AdSense dashboard, go to the ads right here at the la left side of menus click on ads and depending on where you made your site or how your site has been designed you may be attempted to use the automatic ads okay so set on right here however i do not recommend this because google, because google will apply ads wherever he wants okay so basically it's not good at all I normally prefer this one, okay, by add unit, okay, and right here we can choose the ad designs. I prefer this one, the display ads, okay, here is two ads example, we can change the horizontal or vertical, I'm gonna grab this one, the square one. The code is responsive, so no need to worry, okay, set this as responsive. You need to apply a title, okay, to your ad place, okay. In my case, it's gonna be video test. As soon as you do this, we're gonna click into the create button. And here is our HTML code. So what to do with this code? This is the point. Copy code snippet. This is the first step. Copy the code snippet. Simple as this. As soon as you do this, we're gonna need to apply this code snippet wherever we want on our site. For example, we can go to appearance on WordPress dashboard, widgets, and apply this code into a sidebar, for example. So here is my sidebar. I'm gonna click into this plus button and I'm gonna search for an element like for example the custom HTML okay apply this right here and just post your code simple as that as soon as you do this Google will already display the ad on your site okay simple as this once you can apply it on widgets, you can apply it on any widgets at place of your site. So you can apply on footer in the case that you want. If you are using a visual model theme, you can apply even on header if you want, okay? Now let's learn how to apply this in the middle of a post, for example. Let's go to my WordPress post section. I'm gonna select one of my previously made posts. So let's imagine that you would like to apply an ad into the end of your post or into the middle of your post, depending on where you want. You can click into this plus button on WordPress block editor, search for HTML, click on the custom HTML element, and just like widgets, your, co your Google ad gonna be right here. For this ad, as you can see, the Google do are responsive, so the Google knows how much space it can take. And applies a bigger ad. Remember that you always can go back to Google Ads and create another ad style, another ad size, okay? 
Now let's learn how to do this using a page builder, okay? We're gonna learn how to do this using Elementor, for example, okay? So let me got my about page that was made using Elementor editor. I'm gonna click right here, so we're gonna edit with Elementor. It's gonna take a moment to load the front end editor from Elementor WordPress plugin, okay? And let's imagine that for some reason I would like to apply an add into the top of the page, okay? I'm gonna click into this plus button and for Elementor, we're gonna search for a HTML widget and I'm gonna click on it, hover, drag and drop into the place where I'm gonna apply my Google Ad. And here I'm gonna simply post the Google Ad codes, okay? Simple as it is. You can change the columns in the case that you want or any other thing. Now to finish our video, we're gonna learn how to apply this using the WP Bakery that is another famous WordPress page builder, okay? Let me go to a new page. I'm gonna click into the WP Bakery page builder. I'm gonna be able to choose the back end or front end editor from WP Bakery. So you can edit the front end like is on Elementor or edit on back end. I'm gonna edit on back end to make this different. We're gonna add element and right here we have two options to apply our code. We have the HTML, the raw HTML, okay? So we can place our code right here. That is normally the best recommendation. However, in the case that you want, you can simply apply a text block, okay? That gonna load the WordPress Classic Editor. Go to the text view into this tab and place your code. Both cases gonna work to show and display your ads. And it is. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress team. In the case that you need some more information, if you want to learn more about WordPress and many more topics, go to visualmodel.com and review our blog. We bring daily posts about every single topic about from WordPress creation to SEO, development, sales and many more topics. In addition, if you are in need of an amazing free WordPress team and an awesome free WordPress plugin, go to wordpress.org or go to visualmoto.com and download our absolutely free Enzo WordPress team. And in the case that you want to start with a previously made, also have a pre-made website ready for you, like one of these ones that I'm, gonna, that I'm showing, go to the pro version of Enzu. However, even on free one, you can create any site like this one, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with a friend of yours if you find this content useful and I see you tomorrow. All the best!